Welcome to UMC Portal Ultrabook News video channel on YouTube. My name's Chippy, thanks for watching. In this video, we've got uh, a few things that got delivered today um, in the week before Christmas, I just want to show you. Uh, but just before I do that, just to let you know that the X240 Lenovo review is, is coming along and that should be out by the end of this week. Now, a um, little bit of something different uh, for me over Christmas, I think, because um, what we've got is the Acer C7 Chromebook. So, of course, this is the actually one of the big selling devices in terms of notebooks, um, certainly in the US at Amazon.com. It's a Chrome OS uh, notebook um, with a Haswell generation Pentium core I think or is it Celeron I'm just going to check 2955U it's Pentium or, or Celeron it's actually not that important uh, for this um, test that I'm going to do with this what is important here is that it's got uh, just a 16 gig SSD inside uh, Chrome OS works on that okay but what if you want to upgrade that and uh, maybe load something else on there so that's what we're going to do with the Chromebook C7 and thanks goes to my digital discount who have sent the Chromebook with a 200 and no 128 gig NGFF SSD? So there it is. So what we've got, let's just uh, get that in focus for you. What we've got is also an adapter that's going to work in the Chromebook as well. So we're going to boost this from 16 gig to 128 gig SSD. We'll do some performance tests on Windows 8 if we can and see how that pans out as a super cheap uh, notebook. Now that SSD is also pretty fast as well, it's not a, uh, a cheap SSD so it should boost the uh, performance on it as well. Um, what they've all set, also sent over, that's um, my, my digital um, discount or my digital SSD is the, is the, I think the Facebook site, is a couple of external um, SSDs. Now I want to show you this one because this is a 256 gig SSD with a USB 3 interface. It is extremely light and uh, small and with that USB 3 interface on it should be pretty quick. In fact it claims on the box to run up to 465 megabytes a second uh, and I expect that's uh, synchronous uh, read speeds as well. So it'd be really interesting to actually uh, put it together with something like, no, not the Lenovo, maybe this Ultrabook here, which has got a very fast SSD in it. It should get some storming file copy uh, speeds on that. And interestingly, that makes it very good for a backup device, uh, especially if you're doing video work, uh, photo work, uh, to be able to just go USB 3 and back up 256 gigs into your pocket is, is really good. So we'll be taking a closer look at uh, the two devices here. We've got the, um, we've got what they call the OTG product, which has got an MSATA, I think, inside. And also we've got the Pocket Vault, uh, which is a, a little bit lower end, but still it's got a USB 3 interface and will run up to do, 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 240 megabyte uh, read speeds and 170 megabytes a second write speed. So um, that should be pretty interesting. Let me just show you what's going on in that box. It's a slightly, bit, slightly bigger uh, product. There it is, Pocket Vault. Uh, it's plastic, but it's uh, nice and lightweight, and again, 256 gigs worth of uh, capacity there, and you get a USB through cable in the box as well. So we'll do some tests on that. Thank you to um, my digital SSD for sending those over. And um, the Chromebook will be, probably be a little bit of a longer term into January uh, test. We'll do the initial upgrade, but of course, do some tests and a review with it to with Windows 8 or whatever is possible. Uh, or follow up after that. So interestingly, uh, shortly after that turned up today, we had uh, a small box uh, turn up that claiming it that was the uh, Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro, and uh, guess what? It really was the Lenovo Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro with the um, obviously the Yoga uh, flip screen and the 3200 by 1600 or is it 1800 uh, QHD uh, resolution. 256 gigs of SSD in this one and an i7 and 
8 gigs of RAM, so we've got top end uh, Yoga Pro, Yoga 2 Pro to play with. Now that will be really interesting. This is a fairly lightweight uh, 13 incher, um, and actually the price of it is not too bad. So if you're looking at um, convertibles, 13 inch convertibles with higher res screens, um, or even the Ative Book 9 from Samsung, this is going to be a competitor. So that's coming up uh, this week too. Um, that's coming out actually after I've done the X240 video. Now there was two other things. The Dell Venue 8 Pro is on its way for a long, uh, long term test. And I'm just about to, well I've actually already tried to order it once, the Toshiba uh, WT8. That's the other 8, uh, eight inch Windows 8 tablet, or 8.1 tablet, running on Bay Trail. Or I say the other, one of the others. There's I think four or five now. Uh, that should turn out this week as well. So I'm not sure when the Dell Venue 8 Pro will turn up, but the Toshiba W2T8 should turn up this week. And so uh, I'll have that over Christmas as well. So loads of stuff to, to play with. And I'm uh, quite interested in playing with the W2T8 and the Dell Venue 8 Pro because I'm looking to see how much things have changed since, since this. Anyone remember this? This is a Windows uh, XP TE tablet edition tablet with a 7 inch screen. It was one of the first products to come out in 2006 uh, under the Origami uh, project run by Microsoft and Intel. It's about a kilo in weight, 2 hours battery life, 800 by uh, 480 uh, compa uh, resistive touchscreen. Hard disk drive in here, spinning hard disk drive, 1.8 inch, which was really, really slow. This one's actually got 3G and it's got a VSC7 processor in it, which had, compared to Baytrail, a terrible amount of uh, processing power. Uh, and of course, it's big, thick and heavy and was pretty unusable, but uh, that's how it was then. And the Dell Venue 8 Pro and the Toshiba WT8 will show us how it is now. Now that we've got uh, processors that are built uh, to run Windows um, in those form factors, and also Windows 8.1, which has the touch user interface, um, which fits with the form factor as well. And I would like to, to see um, how it works as a full internet experience and a full web experience uh, device, because there's some tablets out there still don't provide you the full desktop experience. Chrome on Android, gets close in the iOS web browser of course but there's still things that don't work so well so it'll be interesting to see how that works um, that's it for this video um, I think next up on the videos probably will be an unboxing of the Lenovo uh, Pro 2 uh, Yoga Pro 2 to Yoga 2 Pro and uh, that'll probably happen tomorrow although there's so much happening this week uh, unfortunately with the family so um, I'm standing in as a babysitter while my son recovers after some little operation on his ear he's not allowed to go into kindergarten so I'm here and the chances to get videos done are few and far between so that's why it's late at night and that's why my eyes probably look like that right <laughs> Thanks for watching. My name's Chippy. The channels are umpcportal.com for ultra mobile PCs, ultrabooknews.com for leading edge notebooks and ultrabooks, at Chippy on Twitter. You'll find us on Google Plus and Facebook as well. Please check us out there. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more as soon as they're published, don't forget to like it somewhere down there. That's it. Thanks for watching.